now we want to get to know a little bit more how these Python programs look like. So again, we write something very simple, for example, three plus four, and now we already make spaces in between, so it looks a little bit more clean. And I run it and I get the result here. Now, the first thing I use here is an operator. So plus sign, for example, is an operator. The same, the same is for minus, this is also an operator, um, and I get the um, respective result here. Now, usually we, are, we don't want to have a calculator or something like this, but we want to do some programs. So usually what we have is that we write the result not directly here, but um, we put this result within a variable. So variable could be something like res for result. And then I have another operator that is the equal sign here. And look that this equal sign doesn't mean an equal sign in the sense that is this equal to this, but this means also a set sign. So we set res, this variable, or put into this variable to the value that comes out here. So we set this value into the rest variable. And now I will run this. As you can see, there's no result. Because all we did here is put this value into this variable. But we didn't um, tell Python to also display the result or to print the result. For this, um, just go two lines deeper, for example, and then type in print. And within round brackets, there are a couple of different brackets here. We put in this variable result. Now, what you will also see is that you get some kind of context menu here. So this is just to help you a little bit. And it usually offers you some commands that you might want to put into it. So at the beginning, this can look a little bit intimidating. This is not important at all. Just ignore it and play, um, put on the play button again, and now we get the result. Because now we have the, um, this calculation, the, this value is set into the res variable, and then we print this variable. So now, of course, we can do a second calculation, have a second, or well, let's for the moment use the same variable, five minus um, two, and play this, and you will get three. Because what's happening here is that the first, that first minus one is written into the res variable, but then we have the second calculation, and this is put into, the, into this res variable, and we override the previous value of this variable here. So we will see in the end um, the value of, of the second calculation. So this is how this program works. If so, the program always runs from the first line to the last line, which is quite obvious and then variables might be overwritten. And then we get the result here. So if we don't want this, we can give this maybe um, the name two, maybe something like this, and then print onto this second variable. And now what I can do actually, like if I write here res two, I could mark this entire variable, only make a opening bracket and it will automatically put in the closing bracket for me, which can come in quite handy. And I play it again, and now I get both values um, because these are separate here. And so this is a very small starting program here. Um, so you see we have a couple of lines, um, we have variables, we have these operators, and we have our first command here, which is print.